Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your literacy lesson of the 19th of January 2021. So today you're going to be planning your own newspaper report, following on from yesterday's lesson where you designed your very own school. So as a starter, what I would like you to do is read the following two sentences and improve the adjectives by changing it so it is described using an expanded noun phrase. So remember, an expanded noun phrase is adjective, adjective, noun. So I'll read the following sentences now, and then I would like you to rewrite them and include an expanded noun phrase. So as the clock struck midnight, the scary ghosts enveloped the tables in the great hall. Have a think what that means and what were the ghosts doing? Spot the adjectives and change it so that an expanded noun phrase is included. The next sentence, in springtime, the fields are filled with pretty flowers. Have a think about where the adjective is and change it to an expanded noun phrase. Remember, you can press pause so that you can do your learning at your own pace. So as a text recap, I'm not going to put the text on here for you to read, but I'll, what I would like you to do is write down 10 things that you can remember from the text from the modelled newspaper report just as a little bit of revision from last week. As this is the final week, we are looking at newspaper reports. We're starting something different next week. So today you're going to put all of your ideas from yesterday into a plan. So firstly, let's recap the features of a newspaper report. Decide which of these are found in a newspaper report. So if you press pause now, because on the next slide it is the answers, I want you to read the following features and decide which one we have, which one, sorry, that we've discussed will be present in a newspaper report. So we've got future tense, reported speech, present tense, introductory paragraph, quotes, direct speech, time conjunctions, persuasive language, past tense, headline, address, and verbs and adverbs. So have a think about which ones you've learned about and which ones you have spotted in a newspaper report. I'm just going to move on to the next slide now. So if you haven't had time to do that yet, please make sure it is paused. Okay, so we've got reported speech, present tense, which is in the main body, which is, sorry, is in the reorientation part of the newspaper report when the reporter says what's happening now at the end. The introductory paragraph, which introduces the five W's, quotes, which is also part of direct speech when you talk about what a witness is saying using inverted commas, time conjunctions, which helps the report to be in chronological order, past tense, which is throughout the report in the main body as it is about an event that has already happened, headline, which is the title, and verbs and adverbs, which give the story movement and makes it more interesting for the reader to read. So we're going to box up our own newspaper report today. What I've done, I've filled in the first two boxes for my own school that I've designed so that you can have a look at the layout. And now I would like you to transfer your ideas from yesterday into a box it up plan. You can draw out the box it up plan or you can just draw out what would be the final column and use the first two columns to help you on the slide. It is totally up to you. So we've got paragraph one. In the first column, I've just put some pointers about what paragraph is, which paragraph is where, so that you can structure it later in the week when you do your writing. So you've got the introductory paragraph, what, when, where, why, and who. And remember why and how it are briefly introduced but they are more so spoken about in the main body, and this is in past tense. So in the middle column, I've given you some pointers about what is going to be in these paragraphs. So we've got what event are we reporting? What is the name of the school? What date did the school reopen? Where is the new school? Who opened the school? And brief explanation why the school had to re be rebuilt. So why? And then if you see in the last column, I've put some ideas for my own school. I do not want you to copy these. You need to think about your own ideas. So I'm going to use that. It happened last week on the 4th of January. My school is called Old Oak Academy in Surrey, opened by Mr Barnes and the building team. And I want Mr Barnes to be the head teacher. So in here, you're only making notes. 
and due to the last school being destroyed by a pupil last year. Then we've got paragraph two, and in the middle column, this is the context of the report. So why did the school have to be rebuilt? So in this paragraph, we're going to give the readers a bit of a background story about what happened using information from the model text. And as you may have guessed, our report leads on from that. Has James apologised? Where is James now? So just giving you a little bit of background information about James Brunel and what he did. And then my idea is on the right hand side, a year ago, a young boy used his supernatural powers to destroy the school. After police investigation, James is now monitored at his home. Luckily, the school was, re was rescued and rebuilt. So you can choose what happened to James. Is he being welcomed back into the new school? Is he had to move areas? So have a think about how you could change the ideas that I've given you into your own. So then what I've given you is a blank template of the box it up plan for the first two paragraphs. And I'm just going to move through the next two slides because they have got the following paragraphs on there and I will talk you through them so that you feel more confident giving it a go on your own. So we've then got paragraph three. I want you to think about time conjunctions, verbs and adverbs in this paragraph because this will be the first paragraph that moves the story on. So this paragraph is going to be all about what the people did to celebrate the school reopening. And in yellow, I've put some ideas. So I've put, was there a balloon release, a party, created a landmark to represent the old school? So did they create something to, re to remember the old school, a statue or a mosaic? Invited parents into school, cut a red ribbon, like they do often when new things are reopened. Invited the mayor of the area. So have a think about how your school reopening was celebrated. And then I want you to include one witness who is going to give a direct quote commenting on how they feel about the new school. So again, some ideas, the head teacher, the head of the project who actually built the school, Mrs. Tenner, how might her emotions have changed from the previous newspaper report to this newspaper report about your own school. And then on the, on the right hand side, you can jot all of your ideas down. And what the box up plan will help you to do tomorrow and the next day is to structure your report. You've then got paragraph four. I want you to really focus on adjectives, verbs and adverbs. That doesn't mean that these don't have to be present in the other paragraphs, but just as a checklist. So this paragraph is going to be about one attraction that the new school has. So this can be something different. You could have a swimming pool, a cafeteria, a theatre, a sports hall, sports pitches, something that the new school has that will benefit the community that the old school didn't have and include one witness and that will be reported speech. What do they think about the new attraction? So this could be children. Are they excited about the new attraction? Parents, teachers, all of those people we discussed last week who might be involved in the reopening of a new school. And finally, you have the reorientation, which is in present tense because it is about what is happening now. Has the school had its first day of term yet? So some ideas here, in a week's time, the school will welcome all pupils. In two weeks time, the teachers will have their first training day. On Monday, reception pupils will be welcomed back with an assembly. So have a think about what is happening now. Um, when the school is reopening, has it already reopened? Are people enjoying their learning? Have the, has the school had any important visitors? So just bring it back to the present day and talk about what's happening to the school right now. So as a plenary, I would like you to now look at all the notes you've made in your box it up plan and rehearse your newspaper report from your plan. Can you tell a partner in school or someone at home about the reopening of your new school just from using your notes? Because tomorrow you will have to transform these into full sentences and start writing the first two paragraphs for your report. Again, if you've got any questions or concerns about the learning, please email the year four at palmeracademy.com email address. This is quite tricky for some of you. I know some of you struggle with the writing process, but keep going. And tomorrow some word maps will be provided to you to help you with the words, but please give it a go. I know this is really new for most of you having to do a piece of writing on your own, but try and use everything you are taught in school. And this will be a really nice opportunity for your teachers to see how well you can do independently.
enjoy the rest of your learning and we will speak soon. <laughs>